Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. Welcome back to some more FIFA 16 career mode. We're playing as Real Madrid and this is episode 4. In today's episode, guys, we've got some Champions League. I'm really happy to get into it. Uh, we have an away match against Club Bruges. And then later on in the episode, we have a match against Athletic Bilbao. But we have an interesting Champions, uh, Champions League group. We have Juventus, myself, Wolfsburg and Club Bruges. Or if you're uh, Louis van Gaal, Club Brugge. I think that's obviously how the... the uh, Belgian people say it, but I'm going to say Club Bruges because it's easier for me, uh, obviously because I speak English as my first language. So, right, Ronaldo on the ball. Let's get into the episode now. Very interesting sides. Obviously, Juventus were in the final last year of the Champions League, so they're hopefully going to try uh, get to the same place and hopefully win. Wolfsburg obviously have a fantastic side, even without uh, Kevin De Bruyne, who signed for Manchester City. And Club Bruce have some really top quality players, and they defend well. Look, just look how many men they've thrown back here. Belgium sides are very good at compacting, they're good at pushing forward and then defending uh, very, very well. So it's going to be very hard to score a goal, and I was definitely feeling it in this match. They were really compacted, it was really hard to break them down. But hopefully we can pull away with a victory. But guys, if you are enjoying the Real Madrid career mode, please leave a like. I'd really much appreciate it. And subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with this career mode or any other career modes on my channel, such as my Manchester United, which you can go check out as well. Lacazette is absolutely tearing it up uh, in the Premier League. Also, uh, hopefully we'll be able to see some highlights in this episode of Neymar, Guerrero, obviously my newly signed players, David De Gea and Bolo as well, has adapted quite well uh, to Madrid light. -like. Tony Cruz there outside the box with a sensational finesse just before the 28th minute testing Club Bruges. We had a couple of chances here and there in the first half. We just couldn't seem to break them down. Obviously, they had some very nice uh, attempts on the counter-attack as well, whipping it into the box there. And uh, David De Gea uh, wasn't tested, fortunately for me. But uh, let me know in the comment section down below where do you think I'm going to finish in the Liga and in the Champions League. I'm always curious to know about your predictions. A uh, huge transfer popped up there. I don't know why it popped up in this match. The transfer window was a pretty while away. But Pjanic signed for Arsenal for £50 million. Superb signing. Um, I don't really think that Arsenal need... Another, well, Pjanic is obviously a midfielder. He's got some defensive qualities, obviously more players than Cam. I don't think Arsenal needs any more attacking midfielders. Maybe a striker uh, more than anything. But we do manage to start things off with Gareth Bale here just after the second half. Makes it 2-1. And I managed to bring him in Bolo as well. Um, Sergio Aguero. I don't know about Sergio. Like, he's been playing well off and on, but he just hasn't, like, fully adapted yet. Obviously, I'm not shy for goals. It's Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale's just been on for in that cam role. He's just picking up goals left, right, and center, and a superb finesse. Plast Club Bruges. And hopefully, we can claim his first goal in the Champions League. A quality player. Absolutely. Fantastic up front, but Vorma on the counter-attack, Club Bruce still trying to create something, whipping it into the box, and man, we managed to get it clear only as far as Gareth Bale, he's breaking through the defence to try and claim his second, puts a superb ball to Embolo, and Embolo uh, couldn't quite get it, but fresh off the bench, he was determined to get his first Champions League goal. And Embolo is just, I don't know, he's just so fantastic on the ball. Quality player. Kovacic fresh off the bench as well. But Embolo finds Tony Cruz back to Embolo, trying to score on his Champions League debut. He does. Mbolo just before the 80th minute makes it 2-1. And what a superb goal up front. But he's been banging in the goals uh, left, right and centre. If he starts, we're going to have to have a really um, serious think. If Mbolo's playing better than Aguero, Aguero might have to lo might lose his first team position. But um, we're not we're not like struggling for goals. It's being spread uh, pretty well around the pitch. But uh, I don't know. I reckon obviously Sergio Aguero will come back to his form, but obviously, yeah, it's not. Yeah, we'll just have to see what happens, I guess. And Bolo in Aguero up? Probably not, since we spent an absolute fuck ton on Aguero and we can't really afford for him uh, not to score. But it's gonna be very interesting to see. He might lose his first team position to Mbolo. But uh, nevertheless, Mbolo finds Kovacic, who absolutely drills it at the club Bruges goalkeeper. 
But uh, fortunately for them, they managed to hold on 2-0 up away. And we managed to make it 3-0 in the 90th minute. Hesse Rodriguez coming on with the triple threat substitution with Mbolo and uh, Kovacic manages to rise to the occasion and heads an absolute screamer home. I have no idea how he even got to that, but this header, just even though Hesse is a little short bloke, absolutely nailed it. Obviously, the Club Bruges defender missed and it went to the bottom right, but a superb ball from Tony Cruz, and we managed to comfortably win 3 0 away against Club Bruges in our first Champions League match, and Mbolo managed to pick up man of the match and his Champions League goal on his debut. Get in, son. I can't wait to see how he develops uh, as a player. But, guys, we've got a match coming up in the La Liga against Athletic Bilbao, but I'm going to be going with the same formation. Uh, 4 2 well, it's a 4-3-3. Three, three. That's what it is. My mistake. I play a 4-2-3-1 in my Manchester United. My mistake. We are playing a 4-3-3 three, three and attacking 4-3-3. Three, three. Obviously, Hammers Rodriguez as the right centre mid and Tony Cruz as the right centre mid as well. I don't think we need any centre defensive mids. I think, obviously, Gareth Bale playing as the cam there just behind Aguero is working well. Neymar and... Cristiano Ronaldo cutting in on the wings, but we are playing against Atletico Bilbao. Uh, currently in the league, we are leading. Celta Vigo actually drew against Barcelona at home, so it's going to be interesting to see how the La Liga develops as well. Obviously, it's going to be a title challenge between the, thr the, the front three clubs. Uh, Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, and myself. However, Valencia have a huge transfer budget in FIFA 16, so if they can sign some top-notch uh, quality players, they're most definitely uh, going to be, well, obviously challenging. Obviously, Celta Vigo as well got some nice quality sides. Obviously, it's not as well-balanced as the Premier League uh, where er where and, and competitive. But um, there's still going to be, hopefully, some upsets here and there. But Sergio Aguero on the ball gets played a superb ball. And he finally silences critics for scoring a goal just before the 10th minute. Being a little bit of a wild, being the Mbolo show. But uh, makes it 1-0 just before the 10th minute with a superb goal cutting across the face from the goalkeeper. Gareth Bale there jumping on his back as well. But that was a really nice hit, well-struck ball. But the, the, the through ball was absolutely teed up. And Sergio Aguero only had to apply the finish, cutting across the face of goal on his left foot, which is his non-preferred, but a solid celebration there. But Atletico Bilbao were determined to get some sort of back, but it manages to fall short to David De Gea. He throws it out to Sergio Aguero. Cristiano Ronaldo on the ball hits it first time, but a solid save there. Probably a little bit ambitious from uh, Ronaldo's uh, shot, I guess. But uh, Sergio Aguero on the ball here hits it on the volley. He didn't have to hit it too hard. Well, I didn't have to. Probably only just had to tap it in because of obviously some pace on it. But that would have been a sensational goal if he hit it right. But it went just shy of the crossbar. Aguero on the ball back to Ronaldo. Ronaldo with the finesse. And Gareth Bale picks up the crumbs and sprays it just wide of the crossbar. But Gareth Bale... In the second half, 1-0 up, breaks away from the Atletico Bilbao counter-attack. And just look at the pace on Gareth Bale. Cool, calm and collected, breaks away. And I managed to play it out in front of me three times. There was no way that Atletico Madrid were going to come back from that counter-attack. Gareth Bale was just way too quick. And we managed to make it 2-0. And Gareth Bale was just been the man in this Real Madrid career. He scored so many goals. is fantastic on the ball. And Laporte couldn't get too far back. But just look at that. Can't catch him whatsoever. And a cool, calm finesse with that left boot. Gareth Bale, you legend. But Atletico Bilbao were determined to bounce back in this match. Hopefully trying to claim some sort of points. Even being 2-0 down. And the shot went wide. Pretty good shot to test David De Gea. But Atletico Bilbao have a couple of good players. Obviously, Laporte, they formerly had uh, Ander Herrera. But Ronaldo on the ball brings it to Isco. And Mbolo, oh, very, very unlucky to be denied there to score another La Liga goal. And Mbolo has just embraced the Madrid life so fantastically and adapted incredibly uh, quickly. But guys, we are coming to the final minutes of this episode. Thank you very much for watching if you watched all the way through. Really do appreciate it. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. 
And above all, after you've watched this video, go out and have a fantastic rest of your day. Remember to do so. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to end it here. Stay tuned for more content on my channel. Obviously, this Real Madrid career, career mode and the Manchester United. Okay, guys. Cheers. Goodbye.